so it needs to be root so I'm just going to run it under KDE super user zen map and then put in my password here Okay, so this is the in-map window. Um, under target here, I'm going to put the network. And we're just going to scan on a 24-bit net mask, which means that it'll scan 255 some odd hosts. I'm just going to do a quick scan plus because it does take a while. And ZenMap is actually a front end to a command line tool called nmap, and you can see that this is the actual command line that's going to be used. I'm going to go ahead and click scan, and this is going to take a while. Uh, the nmap output is going to appear in this window right here. Let's pop on over to Wireshark and see if we can see what kind of packets it's sending out. Let me clear my filter. get down to the bottom of our okay we're on auto scroll well you can see all these weird packets going through and and the, this is actually in maps probe packets and it's it's pinging all kinds of hosts on the network and reporting back what it's what it finds and ZenMap puts the uh, the results in this nice little window organized by hosts and services you can see that it found uh, four hosts on the network it's detecting this one as a Windows host it's detecting these two as Linux hosts and then this one is the router Uh, you can look at what services are open by host or you can see what hosts have a certain service open so all these hosts have an HTTP service open and it actually tells you the version of the HTTPD server which is pretty cool and I showed you that uh, that radar analogy and we can take that a little bit further ZenMap actually puts out a little display that's not unlike a little radar display because it shows the, the ping time. And we can do similar things with Wireshark. There are all kinds of nice uh, options here under statistics. One of the things I can do is an uh, endpoint list and I can look at all the uh, TCP endpoints excuse me that's going to come open in a new window and this is pretty much going to give me a list of all the uh, all the hosts on the network just like nmap would but do it in a passive way let's see I think there's another better one uh, statistics endpoints but yeah, just explore that statistics menu. There's all kinds of good stuff under there. Yeah, let's do TCP endpoints. Yeah, we're getting we're getting a host list of all the endpoints observed on the network. Let's go back to our presentation. The takeaway point that I want you to get from all this is that it's really easy to sniff the network and if you send a packet out over the network you should know that it can easily be sniffed and uh, we all we all know that the internet is a series of tubes and <laughs> this is a little picture here that shows that the inside of the internet and as you can see the tubes are actually clear so you can see the little packets going through uh, it's so easy to sniff traffic that encryption should be used for anything remotely sensitive
But saying that, encryption really isn't a silver bullet because man-in-the-middle attacks are very practical. And DSNF even provides utilities to do these. DSNF includes a uh, SSH man-in-the-middle program and a HTTPS man-in-the-middle program. I mean, th this is why you're supposed to pay attention to those host fingerprints when you connect through SSH or uh, HTTPS, the, you know, those uh, hexadecimal numbers that you never pay attention to. You need to pay attention to those to prevent these man-in-the-middle attacks. But uh, that's, that's all I have in my presentation. Uh, just experiment with Wireshark and all these other tools, and I think, I think you'll learn some neat stuff. But uh, thanks a lot, and until next time, see you later.